25 years ago, Copernicus set out on a mission to transform the way we see our planet. And, as of today, it has established itself as the largest environmental monitoring program in the world, delivering a whopping 16 terabytes of high-quality data every single day. At the heart of the program are a family of satellites known as the Sentinels. The data collected address some of today's key challenges, like diminishing polar ice, food security, urbanization, natural disasters, and of course, climate change. Copernicus also supports tens of thousands of jobs and generates billions of euros in economic benefits. While the European Union is at the core of the program, ESA develops, builds, and launches the satellites on their behalf. These missions carry a range of technologies for land, ocean, and atmospheric monitoring. Sentinel-1, the first of the series, is an all-weather, day and night radar mission covering the land and ocean. Its data is used to map floods, witness glaciers in motion, icebergs snapping off, survey oil spills, and detect ships for maritime security. It's also used for monitoring ground deformation from subsidence, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Sentinel-2 provides high-resolution optical imagery for land monitoring. It's been used to monitor agriculture and crops, coastal erosion, algal blooms, deforestation, urbanization, and even penguin colonies from space. Sentinel-3 measures Earth's oceans, land, ice, and atmosphere. It measures sea surface temperature and sea surface height to track the evolution of El Niño events. With its ability to measure ground surface temperature, it can help monitor the outbreak of wildfires and heat waves. With its wide view, it can image contrails, cyclones and hurricanes, oceans, and even entire countries. Sentinel-4 and 5, yet to be launched, will provide data for atmospheric monitoring, while Sentinel-5P maps a range of trace gases affecting the air we breathe. Over the years, it has mapped global methane emissions and even nitrogen dioxide during COVID lockdowns. It's monitored the ozone hole, tracked aerosols from fires, sulfur dioxide from volcanoes, as well as desert dust. Lastly, Sentinel-6 carries a radar altimeter to measure changes in global sea level, mapping 95% of Earth's ice-free ocean every 10 days. Individually, the Sentinels provide strategic data, but their true strength is unlocked when their observations are merged and combined even complementing other ESA satellites for a better understanding of Earth's dynamics. The data are also fed into long-term data sets to study climate change trends and impacts over time. Building on the success of the Sentinels, six new expansion missions were selected to join the current fleet, expanding their current capabilities to address the EU Green Deal and gaps in Copernicus user needs one of which is the Copernicus Anthropogenic Carbon Dioxide Monitoring Mission, the first to measure atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by human activity. Today, Copernicus is the largest space data provider in the world. It has now accrued over 700,000 users who have downloaded more than 540 petabytes of data. But this is just the beginning. ESA is now expanding its data distribution through the Copernicus Data Space ecosystem, offering easy and instant access to Earth observation data from the Sentinels and other contributing missions, all of which is available free of charge to anyone in the world. With Earth observation entering a new era, Copernicus will keep providing the data you need to make informed decisions in our ever-changing world.